one of the question that I often get is how to create dimension and text in isometric drawing. So I'll try to answer that question in this tutorial. There is no direct method of creating an isometric text or drawing in AutoCAD, but there are some workarounds that you can definitely use for creating those dimensions. Now here in this drawing, we have this cube, which is not a 3D cube, rather it's made in isometric plane and that you can clearly see using this view cube. So view cube directly indicates the top view and you are in XY plane, but still the drawing looks like a 3D object. Now in this isometric drawing, we will make dimensions. So for making dimensions, let's go to this annotate tab. And from this annotate tab, click on this drop down and select align to dimension. So obviously for using this, you need to be in the drafting and annotation workspace. So make sure that you are in drafting and annotation workspace. And if you're not in that, then you can switch it from this drop down menu. Also, you can switch to drafting and annotation workspace from this gear icon. Now, once you are in drafting and annotation, click on this aligned dimension. And now let's apply some dimensions to this. So I'll click at this point and then at this point, and here is my first dimension. Now let's go to this aligned again, click at this point and then at this point and apply the second dimension. Press enter to repeat the command, click at this point and then at this point and here's the third dimension. So right now I've applied these three dimensions, but obviously these dimensions are not isometric and they are not properly aligned with the object which we have on the screen. To make it properly aligned to the screen, we will use dim edit command. So type dim edit on command line and press enter. Now from this dim edit command, select this oblique. And now click at the at the dimension which you want to edit. So I'll select this first dimension and now press enter. Now this will prompt you to select an oblique angle. So you can enter the oblique angle using your keyboard. You can enter an angle of 30 degrees or minus 30 degrees depending upon the plane of this dimension. But it is better to visually enter those angles. For entering those angles visually, select this point and select the second point. Now this will ensure that the dimension will become parallel to the angle which you have selected. So obviously here is the dimension and it looks better now. Now let's repeat the process for these two dimensions as well. So press enter to repeat the command, go to oblique and now click on this dimension and press enter. So obviously in this case, we want this dimension to become parallel to this line. So this line will be the reference angle. So let's click at this point and then click at this point. So here we have the dimension. Now repeat this process for this also. Press enter, select oblique, click on this dimension, press enter. And now for this case, click at this point and then at this point. And here we have properly aligned dimension. And now you can make small manipulations and adjustments like this to your drawing. So now we have made the dimension, but still we miss a little bit of information here. So right now the text of these dimensions are not properly placed. So for that, we need to rotate these text as well. So for that type dim T edit. So that's for text edit of dimension and press enter. Now select the dimension which you want to modify. So let's select this one, which we want to modify right now. And obviously select the angle. And in this case also specify the angle using visual reference. So right now we want this text to become parallel to this line or this line. So let's select this line. So click at this point and then at this point and the text becomes parallel to the reference angle or the reference line. Repeat the process again for the second dimension. Now select here, select the angle and right now we want this text to become parallel to this line. So select this point and this point and here we have a parallel text. In a similar way, you can make this text parallel to this line as well. So press enter, select the text, select the angle and click at this point and at any point here. And here we have isometric dimension. So now that's about isometric dimension. Now what about text? So let's make some isometric text as well on this drawing. Go to this single line text. That would be a better option for this tutorial. So let's select the single line text and let's start from this plane. So click at this point and now enter a height for your dimension text. So I will enter a height of 
one unit and press enter now specify a direction so here again you can specify a visual direction so let's click at any point on this line so this will assign a direction and now enter a text so let's enter text as the sample text press enter button from your keyboard twice to exit this single line text command now repeat the single line text for this plane as well so here I'll click at this random point assign a height of one unit press enter and this time assign this as the direction of text and now enter the value text and press enter twice so here we have this text so obviously both these texts are not properly aligned according to the isometric plane to make them properly aligned select the text and now right click and go to properties from this properties change the oblique angle of this text so right now here is the oblique angle click on this oblique angle and change it to 30 degrees now we are changing it to 30 degrees because isometric text is generally inclined to an angle of 30 degrees so you may need to change it to 30 or minus 30 depending upon the position of your text so right now I'm changing it to 30 press tab key and you'll see the result and here we have the text which is properly aligned to the plane now press escape key and then select this text value so all the properties of this text will be reflected in this property palette now scroll it downwards and from here select this oblique angle again and change it to minus 30 this time and press tab key and now you're here we have this text properly aligned in a similar way you can write a text on this top plane as well and you can align it using the oblique angle so I hope this was clear to you if you have any questions do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to like this video thanks for watching